dire team back. <sighs> Navis turn to back. Uh, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to more action here. The ESL One Frankfurt Group Stages. I'm Lady Pixel. I'm joined by, of course, Capitalist. And we're doing game two of the second series of the day OG versus Navi. We've just seen OG, uh, of course, take the first game uh, in quite some style. And uh, Navi tried to troll all up. It tried to bring it back in 6.88. Wasn't quite there. Let's see if they do something different in game two. The draft has begun. So let's get ourselves in cap. Expecting different things this time around for Navi. Try something different. Well, absolutely, because yeah. they've already banned away the Phoenix. So yes. it's got to be a very different draft right it doesn't put as much incentive on uh the faces void early one two um slaughter are still out there oh the elder titan oh, is still out there as well okay. that was the thing that Bobby, was banned last time yeah it? they banned the elder the earth spirit yes and the um the elder titan og will be able to get their hands on it does navi run then do you know if navi other titan i don't think they do yeah no i was just curious why og would like I mean, I guess I just just for the worry of it being banned out. But I guess you'd still maybe have a bit of a chance to to get it at least second. Because yeah, you're you're not looking I guess no matter to take what, it here. Yeah, no matter what, right? You get Slaughter or yeah. Faces Void, and both heroes actually I work mean, pretty well with Elder Titan in different ways, right? Uh, you've got the extreme minus armor and the physical damage output. Um, when Elder Titan's aura mixes with anti damage and crush. Um, meanwhile, on the other side of things, Faces Void uh, sets up Elder Titan's ultimate like beautifully, right? Yeah. So either one is going to work fine. Also, Elder Titan is actually good against Faces Void, I believe, because of the fact that the the stomp. I mean, that's true. Is, yeah, he's disrupting. You just stomp right? in. You throw yeah. a spirit into the Chrono and stomp, and suddenly can't mm -hmm. do anything in it. Yeah, yeah exactly. For sure. it, you can uh, you can even target the back line, yep. like whatever combo heroes are supposed to go with the the Faces Void. You can try and stomp. <laughs> or use an ult on them. Uh, they're still so. going to pick it. I mean, I was, there's ways to play around it, catching Elder Titan in the Corona itself, but, but as you said, yeah, I mean, yeah, there's a reason why teams do ban out the other side against OG. They're, they're so good with that hero. They, they can play around it really nicely, and it's so good against a lot of the, the very high high popularity meta picks. Uh, Crystal Maiden, second pick for Na'Vi. I mean, this is, this is a pick that we sometimes see from OG themselves, not necessarily a pick that we're used to seeing Na'Vi getting, yeah. especially second into a draft. I, I think the one that I, th I, I want to say as well, it do might be a bit of a block pick because a lot of the times when they do pick out a Titan, they do like to get yeah. CM as well. They like that to be the combo. So taking it away from OG, I guess it. Do you value more? Because you know Invoker is going to be banned in the three four, right? You think for sure? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Particularly, like I think Elder Titan works well with it as oh, well. It is, it maximum really amounts of spell damage output. It really does. With the. Uh, Magic armor being cut away by the aura. Um, you have got setup abilities for it as well. So, do you value in the Invoker or Slardar still? Is there any other heroes that would be picked up? Bat Rider. Bat Rider. Life Stealer was still in the pool. Bat Rider. Yeah, Bat Rider's out here for OG. Moon Bat Rider. I guess uh, you pull back into the Elder Titan ult. Actually, that that isn't. There's so many heroes that combo with the Elder Titan. But that is uh, another. So you can grab the Faces Void, pull them back, have the Elder Titan ult hit. Hopefully, they pop the Faces Void from there before the time walk. Now we'll see some of the um, Lion. What are you afraid of? If you have Crystal Maiden on the side of Navi, maybe you're afraid of the junglers. OG probably. Maybe they think about banning away Enchantress or. I mean, it's like the art style. Like, that was the art style thing, right? It used to be when you face Navi with art style, you would ban away Chen Enchantress. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, they they, they might as... still ban one of those. Yeah, uh, they, they banned away like... Chen last time. Yeah. yeah. Take one of those away. Uh, there you have it. Back to taking away the Ench. It's, it's still something to, to be worried about. We're going against Navi for sure. But definitely one of their strong points. You can open up. Uh, faces Void off lane a lot for him, or you can go Faces Void safe lane and pick up a different off. I, I was going to say this is. I want to say as well. This is something that they're more like. We've seen a lot of Ditcher off Faces Void. They do run it a lot of the times in the safe lane now. It's definitely a, a potential. Cool. Navi got it. 
Uh, yeah, let's see. I mean, whether it's going to be Dendi and Vocal, Miracle and Vocal, both are, are certainly going to be quite a show. But I, 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 I think you're right with the fact that, oh, gee, they would be really wanting to get something like that. So, Miracle in the middle. This really is the two generations of child prodigies facing up against each other, you know? Yeah. Dendi was a 14-year-old kid at Lands, crushing people alongside Puppy. And you've got Miracle. 9k MMR. Do you, you, you notice like how much Manila loved that 9k? Oh, they love they, Miracle. Oh, Miracle, like, Miracle had so Whoa. many fans. It was, they, and it was just the word 9k because we do like that preview bit. It uh, would show Miracle and there'd be like a little spattering and then the voice would be like, 9k MMR! Like, yeah! <laughs> I swear to God, they love the 9,000 <laughs> MMR more than they like Miracle himself. They do. They don't even know he's uh, done. They just hear 9k and they get excited. All right. OG won't let him have it. Yeah. Damn it. Damn it, OG. Take away that invite. It's, it's smart as well. That identity invoke would have been great this game. Um, I kind of want to say this... Oh, no. I, I guess it's not great to, to run the Magnus Blink against like the Elder Titan of Spirit. It's a little bit too annoying. But Denny Magnus could kind of work again here. Five seconds. It yeah, but be. what if... Uh... Yeah, how they have the counter initiation? I mean, to be fair, counter, do you think they might even pick up uh, the Shadow Demon again to deal with the bat? They, they do play it, as we obviously saw. I would much rather see a better counter in okay. the eventual spirit. Venge, I guess, yeah. Takes it away from OG, too. What about the Bane play? Facing hero to pick up against Faces Boy. I guess the same thing, it's just sort of kind of the disruption here is like the Bane as well. You, you've got to be careful playing around the Elder Titan, because OG could play any kind of misplay already with the Chronosphere. You Chronosphere some of your teammates. The Elder Titan's going to be ready to throw, throw the ult into there. Yeah, channeling heroes scary. aren't real solid here, I think, so... ...and to get thrown nice. to the wayside. The biggest thing would be, like, unless they're really trying to... Uh... So, I, I think Faces Void safe lane, they run Crystal main half jungling, half babysitting the Faces Void. Yeah. And then they run some sort of aggro dual lane, Night Stalker. Night Stalker what? Ten seconds remaining. They were... Were they... Are they a team that does Night Stalker Darks here? I swear I've seen a team do that recently. That might be their best option. Something like that, yes. It's just something you can keep the aggression up on that top lane. They'd have this weird combination where they'd have like really like really good team fight potential with Darkseer and Void on the same team. And then they'd also have laning phase pressure. Yeah. And they'd also have like the little bit of roaming where like uh, the first and second night time, they can be rather disruptive if OG pick up cores that are more static and, and like to sit in their lanes and farm. Kind of like they did last time. I, I, I guess, unless it is a kind of a, a straight roaming support night stalker, this is looking to be very likely to be the safe lane board. Yeah, you, or do you think there is a chance Na'Vi have it as, as that roaming support? Rather than uh, Oh, I mean, yeah, absolutely. Could... But even then, it can st yeah, I think it's still the safe lane board. Spirit. There's the Vengeful Spirit okay. for OG. If it is a four position Night Stalker, I'll be... Uh, Who'd you rather say it's cool? Disappointed, because yep. I think you want to abuse Elder Titan lanes by... I mean, and, and I guess I as well, um, getting the Axe and the Night Vision against a bat would be great. You are looking to get yeah. the farm on the Night Stalker. Sure. And what I mean by four position Night Stalker, let, let's make a differentiation. There's still, yeah. like, the aggro dual lane, that's still a four position yes. Night Stalker, yeah. right? But when we see four position, we really mean that effect that it's like, it's a, it's a Night Stalker that's going to be, like, full-time yes. jungling and roaming or something like that. We want to see aggression, and that is not going to be the case here, apparently. Navi pick up the Oracle, which does not promote, like, an aggro dual lane or anything like that, necessarily. I mean, what, what what are you picking for Dendi? That, I mean, what's the Oracle necessarily working with? Who who are you ulting and who's just going to continue to do the damage? Is there, is there any kind of kind of hero that they could slip through to work with that Oracle combo? I mean, if they... Reserve time. It's got to be something a little off the wall. Unless they have two options, right? I, unless, unless they I pick... thought it was like Death Prophet. I was going to say, yeah, Death Prophet for yeah. Dendi. That, I thought that it was could Death be... Prophet, but yeah. I think that gets banned now. Okay. So there's Oracle. Like, his face is Void, Death Prophet. Yeah. That's what you're looking. And then they've got an oracle behind it, right? It feels like kind of obvious. So they either have like a secondary Ooh. hero behind it. Uh, Terrible idea for OG. I guess. Terrible I guess. I guess no Tail will still play this. I wonder if they're gonna switch the roles around. Have Miracle TV. I mean, now that no Death Prophet looks like a little bit. Yeah. They've got the silence of the Night Stalker, but they they just don't have enough damage. I think on the side of Navi. 
this push is like past 30 minutes, you're just gonna look really lackluster. Reserve time. Ten There's no range here that I can think of besides like Invoker and DP that really make this lineup work for Navi. In my opinion, we'll see. Let's see. Navi banning on the DP. OG, what do they take away from Navi? Ten seconds remaining. What? What still is here that Dendi could pull out to quite some, quite some show? I mean, are they confused because they're like, wait, weren't we gonna ban DP? Is he banning out the Dendi? Okay, okay, taking him. I mean, Timbersaw deals with Terrorblade. We saw that, but yeah, um, I'm still not sure if it makes lineup work for Navi because there's like no, like there's so many. There's like this weird team fight slash defensive potential where they're able to counter what OG's doing, but they don't have the better late game. Uh, most likely won't have the better late game. They don't have high ground potential. They just have this combination of early game counter initiation and some team fight. There's, I don't ever really see like a big objective win. OG. Closing pick. Uh, it's gonna be the Alk. Alright, so yeah. Looking at, looking at DTPD, yeah, no tell on the safe lane, Terror Blade, and Miracle will still stick to the Alk roll in the mid lane. Um, Na'Vi going against the Alchemist. I mean, unless. I, I don't think it's gonna be a Dandy Night Stalker, is it? That, that would really be quite something, so. Might leave that at least. We, we do still expect this. Yeah, this is, uh, so now OG very clearly has yeah. better late game right now, Navi, like, okay, you gotta get high ground potential. Oh, uh, oh there's the Dendi-Dusa versus the Dendi Dusa. But... It's the Dendi-Dusa. Um... Alright. In general, Spike I... faces Void. We've not seen, I don't, have we seen Dendi play Medusa before in the mid? I mean, maybe, maybe Dendi's playing Night Stalker mid and they're running... The oh, actually, plane. sorry, yeah, there must be that, yeah, yeah. so general. Yeah, okay, so general yeah, it is, it is the mid Night Stalker. Void. Okay, okay. This is, again... Let's see what goes on with this one. Yeah. Okay, so mind. what does Dusa do here? Dusa is uh, a react, yeah. another reactive hero that it deals with the Terror Blade in some ways. What a lot of what you see he, from OG is like very much full commitment. Like yeah. the Batrider lassos and the Elder Titan throws down their ultimate. They metamorphosis, they go in. Right? And Dusa slows that down. If it just gets the R button off, it's all good. Batrider says to jump you, pop Manta real quickly, dodge the, the instant lasso. Then you get off the stone gaze, and the initiation is totally defeated. Then from there, Navi have some follow up with General's Chronosphere, which also combos with yeah. Dusa okay. Uh, it can make sure that the heroes do get turned into stone. They've, I, I don't, I honestly, I still don't see how exactly this lineup works for Navi. I'm like really puzzled, but I think Dendi has to go insane. And that for me is like a sure. Dendi must go insane in the mid lane. Like he has to win his lane. He has to roam around. He has to like find Moon several times, pick off that Batrider. Moon's known to die in Batrider a lot anyway. So, they, you know, that's a start. And you can go and gank the Terra Blade a bunch, you know, with your silence and new combinations. Yeah. I, I just don't like feel a whole lot of synergy and I don't feel a game plan from this either. But I don't know. We'll see if Nabi can, uh, can surprise us. Uh, this is, is going to be quite a display if Dendi can pull this off in the night. So something he used to play back in the day. I, I can't recall seeing him do it recently. But a hero that, as you said, if he gets a good start, it starts to crush the lanes. It can have a high impact. It's going to be interesting how well it does do against the Alchemist. Uh, which uh, it is, oh, sorry, so it is going to be No-Tail Alk uh, and Miracle. T it's it's going to be the Miracle TB. All right, so the 9k Terrorblade coming out this game. This is, it really is going to be quite a show. So no tell, yeah, be able to secure himself the the bounce room. So no tell, input in the mid lane this game. Uh, OG doing the classic thing where they do have this flexibility of switching around no tell and miracle at their whim, depending on the heroes they've picked up. They're gonna dumpster moon though. That is the one big thing. I'm not gonna say they're gonna get the kill here, but they are going to. And I think Arsenal's dead. dead. He's got frostbite, What's he but doing? it doesn't matter. Oh no. Moon may lose his life, but he oh, may- Oh god, he's got fairy fire oh. too! Oh god, oh, he's gonna live! Oh, no. The nuke will come through! Snake is gonna try to- Get to the ancients! Kill me! Oh, 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 oh no! Oh. 
Almost. He did it. Almost. No, nice deny there, Seneco. Uh, but was that worth support for an off lane? No, but uh, OG getting not. the first blood? Yeah. Absolutely nope, not. Nope, nope. Because this lane should dump on Moon anyway. Yeah. It's got this this combination where the Crystal Maiden can make sure they still get levels by half jungling, and then Oracle is actually pretty good at zoning out solo heroes, and Dusa is threatening as well. But I think this is what bring crit to the bottom lane. It's pretty smart. Uh, use him to try and stop pulls. Maybe he can get a pull on the hard camp himself. Make sure that the Oracle can't solo abuse Batrider, and Bat can get at least level two. Uh, meanwhile, in the mid lane, uh, Dendi should do okay simply because he's got high armor, but I can't imagine he actually kills No Tail uh, unless it's like right as minute four or minute five goes in. They're like, that's his kill point. Otherwise, I think this is just going to be a pretty farming lane for the Alchemist, and that obviously suits him just fine. Uh, not sure. We'll see. Crit being gone does mean the general has a little bit more allowance at the top lane against the Terror Blade Vegetal Spirit, but it's not going to be amazing. Well, Moon in a bit of trouble as well. He's playing on the edge of his life here. Uh, very risky. You lane over the boy. Moon heads back. See how that goes. I mean, lane wise and um, rotation wise, uh, are we going to start to see the, the balance kind of shifted around? Uh, are any of these supports going to be able to rotate, or do they need to remain where they are, really? Uh, Chris Lumin should definitely rotate mid yeah. once nighttime is about to start. Maybe uh, pick up boots and smoke from the shop and just make Seneco buy everything from here on out because Seneco got boots first anyway. I think that would be the ideal scenario. They need to keep No Tail down. They need to ensure Dendi has a good time. It's a good start. It starts running around the map and destroying these cores that want to farm. But we'll... Uh, uh oh. Maybe... They're you know, like in this half position where they want to go on crit but can't quite catch him. It's very hard attempt to go for him. Interesting now with the lanes. Now that Moon has got level 2 in the lane, he's actually going to head up to... Uh... Jungle to start working there as, a, as the bat. Uh, we'll see how much crit wants to stick around down here to get the XP. It's just gonna be making the stacks on the ancients with the spirit there. Just keeping up the efficiency for the side. The weird part of the Night Stalker mid is that once it rotates out, what's going to take its place? Because you don't you don't have like a greedy four position that's going to turn into a semi core or something like that. Like you have a crystal main and you have an oracle. Neither one of these heroes is gonna take a whole lot of advantage of an open mid lane to a farm. They're like, Oracle's okay with levels, but both of those heroes don't really benefit from items all that much. So it, it's like, Denny leaves the lane and he starts going to gank people, but what what takes that space that's left over? And that's why it's it's this like lineup is puzzling. We're about to go into the first night time though. Art Style should start making his way over. He's got boots on the way. Kind of hope, hopes he buys smoke as well, just to ensure that the skank does succeed. Doesn't, uh, like, Night Stalker doesn't get one or two kills in the first night, night phase. I think the game just kind of flops from there. Denzi? Uh oh, yeah, Denzi, don't do it! Don't commit! He it's not worth it! is in a risky place. The night time will pretty much save him there. And the extra movement speed to get him out. Won't get that rune OG up to secure both and smoke up now. From the boys on Navi, Art Style and Snake are coming in behind Dendi. Notice OG, like, it's pretty obvious time uh, to gank up mid, so they rotated their supports kind of mid. And no Tail's gonna be careful. To no bottom. Tail in a lot of trouble here, unless Fly can save him. He can't, the nukes are too much. Dendi nearly going down in return. In oh, fact, the acid sprays, no. gonna do it. They'll find Dendi and now Fly, just, just forcing back Seneco. The stomp off, Fly doesn't have the mana for the magic missile, so they can't go in for more. A one for one trade in the mid lane. Ah, they're mid lane for mid laner. I mean, considering the fact that that was supposed to, like, that gank has to happen in the first place, then he still dies. And the, the, like, it was two, two versus three in the mid lane, and it still works out where OG trade off. That's incredibly good for OG. Like, Avi, they gotta be frustrated by something like that, that he just, like, barely dies on Dendi. Now his rotations are stalled up. He still wants to get like his level 6, level 7 before he fully stays off map and is just a full ganking force. But if he waits for that, it may even be over. Oh, trying to go Mir Miracle. He's, uh, he's got no way of saving himself. He will now put a point into the Sunder, but doesn't have the mana. Miracle. Getting caught out there by the rot rotations of Na'Vi. No backup from 
the rest of his side. And uh, a very nice kill for Na'Vi there, shutting down the TV. That was good reading. Na'Vi just did there. Because they, they know, like, that with Terrorblade, he can be left alone against the Faces Void, and he can really punish the Faces Void, too. But they're going to try and run into Moon. They will catch him with a Frostbite here. So they've got the new damage to deal with him. Yeah, they down got it. low. Uh, and they've got it indeed. And uh, this is uh, really nice from Art Style and Seneco. They make the kill happen top, immediately backing up behind the tower, smoking, looking for more, finding the back kill. That was dope. Placing the ward so you can get the vision for the kill. That was also really smart, too. Uh, it, it's still like. The, the thing about this is that Navi have to keep up this kind of pace. So while we're, we're happy to see it, it in the first six minutes, it's something that has to happen. Right, and so in that regard, it's not overly impressive. If they can keep this up for the first 20 minutes of the game, though, uh, I'll be super impressed. Now Chris, for Navi if they can continue to find these Crit, big offs. He's in trouble. There's a high screen on Dendi. Crit, he tries to go for the stomp, but the silence is there from Dendi, and thanks to his presence, another kill for Navi. Dendi, he's got the urn charges now. Fortunately, he doesn't have a TP, or else I'd say he can uh, rotate he straight up to top lane, but... Yeah, he's gonna go in the jungle. He's gonna cut through the towers, yeah. head straight towards Moon, this where they've got perfect. this vision on. Seneco's coming over as well to offer that extra bit of nuke damage. And are they gonna be able to do it? Oh, just as Firefly runs out as well. This couldn't be more perfect for Na'Vi as Moon. He's down as well. Denzi with that haste stream, making two kills happen, but now they're in trouble. OG's coming in. But they don't seem to have any control. Silence on to crit. There's no stomp. Seneco incredibly deep here. But he's got a TP, and through the cover of nighttime, he should be able to make it. Heads across, TP's out, and Na'Vi playing this first seven and a half minutes perfectly at the moment. Yeah, even a little play like Seneko using yeah. uh, Fortune's End on the Night Stalker, uh, which both purges off the uh, Stick Napalm, and also through the AoE is going to hit the hero. And now he's going to heal up General as well. He hits the, the Purifying Flames on him, and he just time walks off the damage, so he only gets the heal. So that's a full HP. Like, they, they definitely seem to know Oracle yeah. pretty well, and we've seen that before. Like, they're one of the few teams that's willing to pick oh, up yeah. this hero. Oh, yeah, it's Seneco's Oracle performance. It's got to be one of his uh, kind of the best played heroes. It's, it's something that he's been running ever since it's been put into CM mode. We'll see whether or not they can actually uh, show a good enough performance that turns it into a win, though, because it's definitely been uh, very much a losing hero. Now done. So, I'm just trying to keep the uh, vision control here, Na'Vi, around this area. They love maintaining this vision over over this area of the, of the jungle where Moon's been trying to find farm. He's actually just headed back to lane oh, now Moon, at this point. Oh, Moon, drop those, drop those tranquil boots again, And son. you're gonna do it again? Drop them. Oh, is it? Drop them. Does he do it? No, he's got full uh, health, though. There's no reason to. Oh, man, that would have been so amazing. Did you Ross yeah. steals that? Nice. A Moon? Just going straight in, playing with Did you hit. He's fine, though. The rest of Na'Vi. Elsewhere across the map. Actually, Seneca just behind Dendi, top lane. Uh, I'll still kind of set into position just in case General finds an opening with a Chronosphere. See, they smoked up on Dendi solo. Kind of think they needed the Crystal Maiden there. Because um, if he runs into a core, he may not be able to kill him now. A support by itself, he could turn into Knight and I mean, just get look the kill that. easily. Look, right? look at this. It's such an easy kill for Bring Dendi. around the Rosie. But you can do it. You can't. Can they punish him? He's incredibly tanky. Oh, no, you can keep man. going for more. Yeah. Almost. Try and kill Fly. Yeah. Oh. He's, he's gonna get. He's got one more touch. He's got it. Double oh, kill. Run. He's actually doing it here. Oh god. No. He, oh. oh, run the other direction. Oh, oh Dendi. smart Dendi. Smart Dendi. Oh, and here's Seneca with the says. He gets away with it as well. Whew. The Dendi Night Stalker doing absolutely brilliantly this game. Three, one, two. Getting double kills like that. The backup of Seneco. Getting him out. And now, on no tail, he's not got the offer 50 seconds. This oh, could no be a way. double kill. Oh. Unless he can armlet on his way out. It looks like he can. The armlet's too much. The armlet is too much for now. But they're going to run into Miracle here. They might actually be able to get this kill rather easily if they have the Sunder at the right time. No. Miracle. I mean, General did have the Chrono. It kind of held on to yeah, it. Maybe even committed it. They needed to bring him a little bit lower yeah. before they went for the Chronosphere okay. to guarantee the, the, the kill. Uh, otherwise, he would Sunder as soon as Chronosphere is down, which is why Miracle Sunders right then, right? He's like, yeah, just if I Sunder right Chronos. now, there's no way you can kill me. No need to risk it and try and play greedy. My ult. So, too bad they don't have level 6, though, on the Crystal Main. Otherwise, that's like an instant kill. And, and that's part of the problem. Artstyle wasted so much time sitting up here in the side area. It's got like maybe 50 points of experience in the last minute and a half. 
if he is doing something else, if he's actually jungling, he hits level 6, and then that that gank looks entirely different. They instantly chrono, and they pop Freezing Field, and there's no way Miracle survives. There's not enough RNG in the world to live through Freezing Field like that. Z. Get on to no it's out, no it's out. Uh, high. It's not really a kill that Dendy can get on his own, especially during the daytime. Needs a plus one. Uh, for the time being, the plus one's elsewhere on the map. Alright, so I'll farm, farm the creeps. He's so close. Six, so close to that six. Get level six. Oh, nobody's coming top. OG have given up top. They've given up top. They, they want to kill Ditchera. Yeah, it's, well, it's, it's just like unnecessary because you've got two like late game farming heroes that jungle. Uh, well, so what's the point of going top lane and getting picked off for the Chronosphere? You know it's going to happen. So instead, put pressure on on uh, on bottom lane. Maybe go for a three or four man rotation there, and just control your jungle as much as possible. Make Navi come out to you, especially during daytime. Looking at that, Dendi is well on his way to pick up pretty fast ags. Uh, I'm not sure what the like what the mid lane Night Stalker build is now. Um, I mean, does, does he get a, a Midas different? on the progression? Is yeah, it, I was yeah. thinking about that, right? Just to make sure that your your farm progression continues as yeah. you're a two position uh, in farm priority. So you need to, to make sure you do better than just an off lane or a four position Night Stalker. That's what I was told, man. Four they want to try and die for this. Yeah, no I... tail, you should not have come to top lane. I thought OG gave this up. Uh, he's got the ult and the armor. Didn't manage to get the armor on yet. But we'll, looks like they can't kill him during the Chronosphere. Now comes out the armlet with a new damage. It's too much. They'll drop the ult as well from Artstar. Finally hits the six. Uses it to make sure they get the kill. And Na'Vi, one under their belts. They, they should be able to take the tier one top as well. Dendi, already on the move. Wants to try and make as much happen as possible with this double damage he's got during the nighttime phase. Maybe make a beeline for the mid lane. There are three members of OG here though. He's got the backup of Suneko. Ult is available. So Dendi can go ham here. He's actually going to get the courier. Takes that down. And now he's going to look for blood. Straight in onto Fly. Fly will get the stun off in time, but Dendi's not going to be helped out with that with a double damage rune bursting through the bench. And you can put Suneko there to finish it out. And Dendi looking for more. Eyes towards Miracle. He's got the silence again in a second. He can lay that down. This should be a good opportunity for a kill. In fact, there's no mana. He doesn't even care. There's no chance that Miracle can turn this one around. He has no Sunder. Miracle trees. trying for the Jukes. It's not going to work. And Dendi gets another. Moon's now turned up. He's fighting against three of them. The Bash are coming out onto crit and moon he's got to get himself out the ult will be there clips onto Suneko but Dendi is just working through OG gets the kill onto crit Suneko still has an ult if necessary and there we do has it come down onto Dendi but he's been lassoed up can Dendi actually find anything else out of this one can they heal him up the urns it's not going to be enough Dendi will still go down after the ultimate Na'Vi the rest of them moving in for more Digirard trying for some more action here it's not going to happen so Na'Vi will now back up Dendi, he is just going full YOLO this game. 5-2-4. Absolutely no stops on this man. He's going to have a Vanguard and a Buckler done for the next time he wants to go for those kind of plays. He's, he's going to be an incredible tank and an incredible force to have at 14 minutes into the game. Yeah, this is a cool build. You know, you're talking about, like, what is what is a Night Stalker yeah. at mid? How does this item transition? Well, he's just, like, making it so he's a, he overwhelms the enemy now just through his nukes and his longevity. Oh, a nice play. Did you see that? Suneko disarms No-Tail in order to get the deny on the tier 1 tower. Oh, he's a smart man, and he may even just set up a potential kill. General's turned They've up. They've got Kronos here soon. Oh, he there dodges as well, it. And they're going to do it. He leaps across, jumping through time to dodge the bombs. General sets it up there, following through Suneko's initiation. Uh, it's 13 to 3, and Na'Vi in game 2 is working out really, really nicely, this job. Yeah, they are. I, it, it just seems like such a different play from Na'Vi in Game 1 and Game 2. Right? I was so disappointed to see the fact that it was just like they did the laning phase just normal, and they didn't try and put pressure on OG when it was clear OG had the better situation. Here, Na'Vi are entirely different. It's, uh, maybe it's because Dendi is, is opened up in many ways by giving this Night Stalker mid where he has every incentive in the world to move around the map, nice. but even the movements of Artstyle and Seneko are a lot more active where they're finding openings against OG. And around the jungle there. He should be a little bit careful. It is on his own. Uh, it's, it's just going to clear out one of the creeps away from, from Miracle. 
Uh, but to look as well, next fight, you know, Senenko's got the mech done. Uh, this is one of the buses of being an Oracle. He's 416 with the Purifying Flames. He has been able to secure some of that good, good old kill bounty so he can get these items up at this kind of time. Uh, a false promise and uh, a mech kill, especially with the amount of tankability that, that Dendi's got, that can save him each and every time. I am worried that they're not getting enough um, aggressive wards down on the side of Na'Vi. They've got like this defensive ward near the river. It, they're they're letting OG have a bit too much space. They need to lock this down uh, in the next night time. And it's just about to turn, turn dead, so this isn't a good sign. They're trying to fight here. Lasso onto Suneko. At the same time, Denny wrapping around from the back, looking to lock down onto No Tail. Stone Gaze will kick in onto them, and now looking towards Moon. He's been stunned up, held in place by the Crystal Man. In general, gets beat down by the beat power of Miracle. Turns his attention towards Ditcher R. It's 4 1 at the moment. But the stomp follow through, he'll catch two. Balls promise onto Ditcher R to get him out of there. Dendi, uh, he's going to get hit by the full force of that one. I'll start charging for the ult, but the cancel is there. Dendi falling low, will drop OG, getting two, but at the same time, they've lost two themselves. Sunder from Miracle, bringing Ditcher R low. No Tails trying to move in for more here. They need to find some kind of a stomp setup. Ditcher R trying to duke his way out through the tree line. Can Crip find this stomp? Looks like Ditcher is a little bit too speedy. TP out indeed, so OG decide to get themselves out after the back of that one. From the fight recap, pretty even trades there. It's uh, a messy fight for both sides. At least they stopped the Roshan. That was like the worst Spheras. Uh, especially after our last series where Alliance got so many Roshans. Uh, for free, and that ended up swinging the game in their favor. Uh, I was really nervous that Na'Vi were going to make the same kind of mistake and give OG too much space to work around. They were going to get a, a Roshan for themselves, but they stopped it. Even if the fight didn't go quite the way they wanted, I think they, that the way that they played it in like little micro things, like Seneko's positioning and the way he was able to get the last hit on uh, one of those kills, that saved what was overall a disadvantage that they were at from the start. They didn't even have Chronosphere in that fight at all, just because General got taken out pretty quickly. So, uh, I think overall they should be happy with the way that fight went and be prepared in, uh, in about a minute and a half time to try and go super aggro against OG. That's, that's when you'll have that 50 second window where you pop darkness uh, and you'll have like a 5 minute night time. That is where Na'Vi need to get a lot done. They need to take the tier 1s at mid as well as bottom. They need to try and take Roshan for themselves and at least secure aggressive enough vision that they know OG won't be able to do it. And oh, obviously, big thing is trying to shut down both Miracle and No-Tail who continue to farm away. They're not ahead of your Dusa just yet, but they are beginning to challenge her network. They were hoping to catch Crit off guard here. and then they just do it. He's come will. back in. They've got the lockdown. Denzi with the Void Moon trying to go in with the counter, but immediately the Lasso removed with the False Promise. Swap onto Crit, fly trying to save, and the Chrono comes out for General. Catches two right on the outskirts. They'll burst down onto Crit, turn towards Moon here. Can they manage to find the kill? It doesn't look like they can. No Tails turned up for the fight, disrupting it from the sidelines, but Na'Vi moving in. General trying to find the bashes, the nukes. The right clicks with Ditcher they found two, but they've also lost two as the damage from this Terra Blade forcing Na'Vi back miracle double kill for the man can he find himself anything more they've got a magic missile if fly can get in range of tijerani can indeed miracle turning up with moon they'll get the slows down can they find him he's into the sidelines healed up by the urn of dendi i don't know if he can juke his way out of this one no. miracle he knows he's dead he yeah. just turns and tries to get some damage out before he dies but there wasn't, they didn't get a good freezing field, the Chronosphere was okay, but they didn't manage to combo anything with it. Yeah, that, it that just wasn't enough. That, that was just, well, really nice play from, uh, from Fly, really saving. Um, it went, like, once the initial, like, yeah. the, the nuke factor of Na'Vi's single target between the Void and the Oracle, like, once that kind of wears off and that 350 damage nuke doesn't mean as much, you're gonna see Na'Vi's teamfight, like, really, really lackluster, because they're just gonna lack in damage. They won't be able to pop these heroes, especially because heroes like Terra Blade and, and, uh, and Alchemist, and even in some ways Elder Titan, they're actually gonna be pretty tanky and tough to kill anyway for most teams. This team is going to be lacking in damage. Their Chronospheres are just going to look like, oh, there's the Chrono, what an amazing Chrono, but where's the damage to follow it up? Hopefully, Ditchia Ra, thanks to the space that he's been amounted, he'll be able to um, to carry this through in the mid game with his physical damage, but it, it's tough to say, because Dusta is just not that impressive in physical damage for quite a while. 
Uh, even with the, the builds where you ignore Lincolns and you go for like uh, straight Scotty, it's still not that kind of like impressive, overwhelming, like, oh, you burst that hero inside of Chronosphere and it had no impact in the team fight. It's not that kind of hero. It's very slow and sustained damage. So, OG. I'm concerned they're going to make their way to come back, but Navi, this is their best chance to, uh, to get some real control. General can swap back, time walks away, Crusher will still follow through, OG holding, and they get the setup here, Ditcher up, pops the stone gaze and immediately starts to move it aggressively, Chrono comes out, it's only going to catch Moon, go tell, they can't bring this man down, they're trying to turn towards the Moon Kill, but they can't quite get it, Crimson Guard now coming out from Dendi, but immediately the ult from Arsdale cancelled, Miracle moving in and here comes the damage, Concoction onto Dendi, False Promise will be there from Suneko to get the Night Stalker out of there. OG won't be able to get a lockdown onto another. Navi just losing art style. Unable to get the successful push onto the tier 1. Roshan is up. But OG spot this out. They should be able to take it very, very quickly with the remainder of the metamorphosis onto Miracle. And indeed they will. They'll head into the pit. They'll take this one down. And unlikely that Navi can do anything about this. No stone gaze and no chronosphere. I like what Dendi's doing though. Immediately going for the tier 1 because they know they've given up Roshan because of that fight. Miracle trying for the deny there with the 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 illusion. Ages now. On to on to Miracle. He's five two two top of the net worth board at the moment. Not been the smoothest of games. There was a few few hiccups at the start when he was caught out, but uh, he's managed to find himself some great activity in terms of fighting. Battle Fury soon on the faces void. Yep. That's kind of an interesting twist in this where they've got like they're lacking damage and. With OG picking up both the Terrorblade and the Alchemist, it was like, oh man, they've got the better late game. But if they can somehow transition the Void into uh, a secondary carry, then maybe it's a bit better. Uh, I'm not fully convinced, but at least they've got a backup plan. Yeah. You know, the, the first 25 minutes, they didn't dominate like they had to. They were doing okay. It looked okay by 15 minutes, but then two team fights happened where... Navi tried to force it a bit too much. I'm not sure what it was. Oh, they yeah. like, didn't get the right kind of chronospheres. They didn't have the the synergy of skills that you look for. Art style's freezing fields is a big part of their damage. Uh, as sad as that is to say, like freezing fields, they really need it. And it both times immediately gets cancelled by Moon Meander. Just a bit of a tower trade here, Navi. Tier 2 top. OG tier 2 bottom. So OG again. Just keep the push on and Navi, they'll have to back up and react. Do have the ults available, Art Style's going to be the first to head in. Suneko to join his cause. OG may be ready to go aggressive, 5 seconds of Metamorphosis is available again for Miracle and he has the Aegis. Uh, this could be a good time for OG to try and break the high ground. See how heavy they want to go in on this. See if uh, Miracle wants to play the Metamorphosis and here we go. Might as well. I think with the Aegis they've got some incentive to, uh, to poke at. No, Backing he... up, but they are OG immediately just reacting to the push that was going General. on from top uh, into the lasso, bringing the man back. Fly turning up as well, so they will. Oh, a little bit late with the lockdown, so General does have the chance to time walk out. Drops the Chronosphere. Oh, he's going to do it. He's out of there. Oh no, OG. Oh, Miracle! They actually caught him in the bottom lane, and they might be able to add oh, that guy. That was a cow. huge play from Narvi. What? What? General baiting them back. Playing away from them, and then Miracle gets Miracle? left behind. They what? find oh. the kill on him. Navi! How did Miracle get caught? Left completely. I can only assume they were like TPing out and they managed to stop the TP from Miracle, but that was. Yeah. And they could, of course, obviously kill him twice, so weren't you? Taking the Aegis off his hands. And everyone, everyone else had already gone back. Yeah, because without yeah. that, that's like, that's okay. OG. Miracle doesn't die. They force Chronosphere from Navi to be used. Defensively, and that's okay. Like at that point in time, you like okay, we have a minute and a half where they can't team fight us. Miracle going down though means that Navi are going to be able to turn this into so much more. They're going to get the tier one bottom lane. They don't ages to worry about. And Ditchira continues to stay up there in net worth. Now he's still being challenged by both the Alchemist and the Terra Blade. That is a bit concerning, but he is making the general transition from Lincoln's to Manta. And while he's got that, he can get his first real damage item for Scotty. Then Medusa carry is finally like there. Finally like fully impactful in a team fight. Or it's like it's just a mystic snake and it's a tanky hero with stone gaze, but 
doesn't you don't really feel the presence of a Ducey. You can just ignore it. It's, it's interesting. Well, we actually we actually talked about this earlier today. You know the the, uh, the Terrorblade build. Miracle, he's going for the Diffusal. I hope so. You know, we were mentioning this earlier. Um, I mean, what, why why has he gone for the Diffusal this game? Dusa. Yeah. Uh, really just for the you know, you got yeah. the mana burn yep. against uh, a mana shield zero. That's oh, gonna be good. You like it. You like it a lot. Oh, General jumps in. Chrono onto two. The follow is gonna be there. Arstyle immediately popping the freezing field. They'll take down Moon on the back rider. Oh, he's getting himself away. Will he live? He's gonna live. They get Moon out. They'll kill General OG. Moving in hard. Finally, the stone gaze comes out. But OG, the player around it. Hotel, he will still get caught by it. But a bit of a, a mess of that, just unfortunately, they weren't able to kill Moon off there, regardless of the fact they dropped the Chrono, the Freezing Field as well. And they end up losing General and potentially a tier 2 off the back of that as well. Yeah, you're seeing this really nasty point where the nukes just aren't enough to kill 72. And that was like, a, that was a Bat Rider. Yeah, right? The Bat Rider is some tanky hero, like No Tails, Alchemist. So these nukes, they, they don't do enough. The regen and general damage over time of OG starts prevailing. And Ditcher Raw isn't ready to go. Like, he's he's not quite full oh, up. Oh, Moon, he's crossing Aiko. and Aiko going straight away. Ditcher Raw, look at this. Look at the diffuser Jesus, ripping Ditcher through Ra. the Medusa. Double kill for Miracle. OG, they'll clear out the mid lane here. And they'll move straight down towards the bottom. Na'Vi, they do have buyback available on Ditcher Raw. He will use it, get himself back in. But they may lose straight up another set. General, he's got no chrono for 40 seconds. Hotel cooking up the concoction, frozen the way of Denti. The Gerard trying to move in. The Crimson Guard's out. They've actually left no tail behind here, OG. It looks like they're leaving you, and they're saying, you're, you're on your own here, buddy. Miracle do this. He oh, did! He, he did! Centered him. Miracle! He saves the no tail! For the time being, it looks like no tail may still be dead here. And he's making them work for it. It was so <laughs> unnecessary. Like, that was such a risky play. I got you, bro. You know, if Navi... If not, yeah. he like have any catch, or they like somehow nuke Miracle down at that point in time, because they're still gonna lose No Tail yeah. no matter what. But I think OG would just like Miracles. I'm feeling it, dude. I'm gonna come save you. <laughs> Don't worry, Big Daddy. I'm here for you. Wow. It still doesn't matter though, because it's uh, Elena Rack's already gone yep. before the 30 minute marker. Navi, unfortunately, again didn't get this axe fast enough to take away the vision and really exploit OG and get multiple pickoffs. They didn't. They aren't able to delay this game long enough for the Dusa to to really start carrying. It's ultimately you still have to Dusa carry against a Terrorblade and, a, and an Alchemist, and then. Not easy. I mean, yeah, we, we saw just then how much Miracle can do with Diffusal Blade against the Deuce. Yeah. He pops a charge, gets the lockdown with Metamorphosis and a couple of illusions. Ditcherar's dead. He will have further lockdown soon. Gotti is way of the TP. He becomes even harder for them to burst down. Pretty much guarantees that he'll always get off the side. I mean, if you're, if you're Narvin out at this point, how do you, do you kind of regain control of this game, which is starting to, to slip out of their grasp? Right? Prayer. Prayer. <laughs> Through the power of prayer. Oh, and I am not a religious person, but B Navi should consider it at this point. He's selling. No, not, I mean, it's just like they, they need to be able to just find one a really good, good Chronosphere. Chrono into Stone yeah. Guys. Yeah. Get Chronos, the damage down. Chronosphere into like freezing a really field. big freezing field yeah. and then as the chronos field and the freezing field are about to fade get the stone case locks perfectly. them in at the right time yeah. so it's like okay now you get the physical damage aspect you manage to pop do uh, pop the terror blade miracle doesn't get a sunder off uh kill moon as well as the two supports and then you're just left with uh with big old daddy no tail and you just slowly chip him away because he's got armor and regen and strength for days, so it's really tough to kill him. But you get him eventually. And then you take Roshan, you get Aegis. You start taking control of the map, take away the tier 2s. You limit all the vision, because then you've got Gem and Night Stalker Axe, which they're already beginning to do. OG play scared. They can't go out, they can't farm with their big carries. The deuce is getting bigger and bigger. There it is, Owen. Created your narrative. Get him, Denny. Sick him, boy. Now he's got Stop it. that TP. I think Chris dead. There's, yeah. there's no. He's got yours. He's gonna try, turn around, clap, but he doesn't realize the rest of the team is already here. He Bye, has. Ah, I was gonna say, Notel was walking that way, and he's uh, quite briskly walking not that way anymore. Roach? It's not up yet. 
Oh, what's the spawn time looking like? All it's right. a relatively short one. I'll put a minute. Okay. That'll be the idea. Get the pick off, uh, pick, get the pick off, Navi. You need a big pick off. Like, General pushes out the mid lane. That's all yep. fine, well, and dandy. You need to get another pick off. Turn that into uh, enough of an advantage where you can rush on. And Navi just really aware that this, this pit needs to be controlled. It's going to be hard against OG's lineup, especially once Crit's back up. I mean, yeah, Na'Vi, they, they're them, uh, both teams to be fair, I guess, have got very good power around the pit. You look towards your Kronos Fish, Stone Gazes, at the same time OG, uh, they've got an Elder Titan, and uh, Elder Titan's definitely, definitely up there is one of the most annoying heroes to try and roach against. Yeah. You can very easily shut it down. He gets Vision, he's got a gigantic line stun. It's not even a white stun, it's, it's actually the, the damage aspect, the percentage based damage uh, aspect if you hit a few is really people, good too. <laughs> Huge amounts. I like the fact I, I I like the fact that he went Lincoln's and didn't go Manta. Yeah, no, um, that's, uh, that is definitely right, because they do need the damage as you said. Yeah. They need to get I, that damage. Maybe on. I would have preferred Great Manta. Uh, uh, I don't know. It's it's risky, oh, right? Uh, oh, instead of the Lincolns. Yeah, you're playing a okay. riskier game where you're playing like Manta versus Lasso, or, yeah. and you don't. You also plan that you don't get swapped. Lincolns is the safer play, but it's also a play that OG can work around. Like, well, they've got four staffs, so you can build Lasso in. But I, it, either way, I like the fact that he's going straight for the MKB after that. Like, he doesn't get, like, both items, which we've seen time and time again. He goes straight for the damage item. This is necessary to make the Dusa come online faster. So you can feel her impact in team fights. And now, Navi, get the initiation. Yeah, look at the Miracle. Miracle Mancer's off the crossfire. Now he goes. Be careful for no tell. Now get the stun, no. The Lincolns will stop it. Did you stone gazed? It's going to be thrown out. Is it going to achieve anything? So the stone gaze now available for Navi. Rough. It's supposed to be night time, and well, the BKB is used by No Tail. He's not the threat. They had him isolated in the, the the river, but they still couldn't go on him. And now OG just waited out. You know, they're just like, okay, Stone Gaze is used. If we want to, we can wait till uh, Snow Luck or night time. Darkness. Let's see what Navi can do to stop this. I mean, they're so confident they're gonna do it while Darkness is still up. They went into the Roshan pit with like hardly any vision. This this really defensive ward. Yeah, no, they'll, they'll get this. There's no movement from Navi indicating they, they're gonna be able to even dream of getting there in time. OG just going the way of Miracle, and now it's, I guess we can expect to see them going again, yeah, the line's being drawn, they're ready to storm down a lane, take that second set of racks that's already exposed down the bottom, I mean, there's still a lane here on the other side of the map that's got a tier 1 standing. Time for the dream, dream Chronosphere, Owen. This oh, is the time, oh, no! Absolutely beautiful, max range there from Fly. <laughs> Alright, now I'm not even sure if the dream Chronosphere situation is enough. It's uh, oh, in the lens range. Pretty good. Buyback. But again, what does the Night Stalker do for you? The, the, the nuke? That's like two seconds of heal from it's, Alchemist's yeah. chemical rage. The silence? Oh, you got Mantas. You don't care. Also, you're tanky enough to just survive through when they try and burst you during the silence. That's not going to happen fast enough. There you go. Metamorphosis out. Oh, oh general. Are you to push on? Be the man that Navi needs. Needs something. Tishra already being forced back. Wow, he's losing by the Diffusal Blade as well. So much damage. Oh, they've got the clap. Tishra's yeah. going to be in bad position. They'll put the Stone Gaze that will just keep him alive. The lockdown onto General. He has to time walk himself away. Fortification out from Navi, but OG, they don't care. They'll maintain their position. Take down a second set of racks from Navi. Yeah, yeah, no, no mercy here from Miracle he's just, as he just bullies players back into their fountain. Now Teddy coming out with night time. We need to try and make a go on to No Tail. No Tail. It should be fine as well because we look towards Fly, who of course has the swap available if necessary for any kind of saves. Miracle takes down our style. Now turns towards General. He might just do it. Oh, he's just beating them. He's beating them down. There's a buyback from the Crystal Maiden. 
The swap onto Ditcherado. They're going to be able to find the Medusa. Oh, he's got false promise. I don't think that saves him. A lot of damage coming out. It's the good freezing field. Not good enough as the stomp comes through. Goodbye, Crystal Maiden. Seneco to fall as well. Four dead on Na'Vi and G. G is caught. OG will indeed end up taking the series 2-0 as we finish this one up. I mean... A little bit of hope shown for Na'Vi in the earlier stages, but this is something that we see a lot of the times for Na'Vi. They, they do have the, the individual skill, they have great coordination in, in, in the kind of the, the rotations, the early pickoffs, but then it always kind of hits that, that kind of part of a game where suddenly OG's kind of just superior experience just outweighs uh, what Na'Vi has to bring to the Yeah, I think I'm happier with this game yeah. than um, game one. I, I think it at least showed that. Because no matter what, like, it doesn't matter if Navi have played OG before.